friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW vegetarian recipe. This was absolutely delicious. You didn't even miss the meat. It was that good. So if you want to see what vegetarian recipe I have in store for you for this episode that is WW friendly and of course delicious, just stay tuned. <laughs> For tonight's vegetarian dinner, we are going to make veggie pot pies. It is going to be filled with so much goodness, you'll never miss the meat. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. I'm gonna be using frozen mixed vegetables. The recipe calls for carrots, peas, and corn. This is a faster way to make that happen. A little bit of green beans in place of the asparagus. So this is a great dupe for cutting up and buying all those fresh vegetables. Saves money and time. You'll also need some veggie broth, minced garlic, mushrooms, celery, red potatoes, leeks, and the recipe has a make your own pie crust, but I'm gonna sub Pillsbury pie crust again a lot faster. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do is chop up our leeks, our potatoes, and our celery. We're gonna add everything to a big stock pot because that's what we're going to cook the veggies and everything down in. So let's get these chopped into the stock pot and get these cooking. This is not your first time Another late night Vision with the blurred sight And you know what I like I can't get you off my mind So we've got the potatoes, the celery, and the leeks in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and add my bag of frozen vegetables. And then I'm also going to add this big container of mushrooms, only because mushrooms saute down to virtually nothing. So we're going to put this on the stove. I'm going to add a little bit of water so that it'll saute down a little bit. And then once the veggies get a little softened, we're going to add in our garlic and our veggie broth. So I've got all my goodness kind of coming along here. I added maybe two tablespoons of water just in case for the sauteing of it. We are gonna go ahead and add in some spices. The recipe calls for poultry seasoning, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna kinda make my own. So we're gonna improvise by adding in a little bit of thyme. And we're also going to add in a little bit of onion powder. And then I'm going to put in just a little bit of some fresh ground rosemary here. And that's going to substitute for our poultry seasoning. Give this a stir. Let these continue to saute. Once your veggies start to soften, we're gonna go ahead and add in just a big spoonful of some minced garlic. And we're also going to be adding in our veggie broth. We want about two and a half cups, so about half of the box. We're gonna let this come to a boil and that's what's going to cook down the potatoes, get those nice and soft and continue cooking the rest of our veggies. But this looks and smells delicious. So we're gonna let this come to a boil and cook for about another 10 to 15 minutes. So you're going to take a pie pan, go ahead and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add our veggie mixture and then top it with our crust. So I went ahead and added our filling. We actually have a little bit of filling left over, so no problem, we can just kind of eat it on the side, but that was the majority of what we made. I did add a couple tablespoons of flour per the recipe to thicken up the liquid in the pot pie. Then you're gonna go ahead and roll out your pie crust, and of course, we're just going to place this over the top of our pot pie. I do have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. That's what we're gonna actually cook this at. So go ahead and roll your crust kind of over the edge just a little bit. And then we are gonna go ahead and cut a slit or an X on the top of our pie crust before we put it into the oven. So this is gonna go in at 400 degrees until our crust is nice and golden brown.
So I just pulled our pot pie out of the oven. It looks so delicious, but always put yours on a sheet pan because it does like to bubble over. So there is our pot pie. I'm gonna let it cool for just a couple of minutes. We're gonna cut this into eight servings and I'll be back to show you the serving size and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner. So I cut it into eight equal servings. So we still have quite a bit left here and eight servings is five smart points a piece. So it is five smart points for one serving of our veggie pot pie. And it smells and looks delicious. That crust is so flaky, yum. Definitely a winner for a ve vegetarian recipe. Thank you for joining me on another WW Vegetarian Series recipe. I hope you enjoyed seeing this pot pie. It was absolutely delicious. And again, you don't even miss the meat. It was that good. That using the pie crust was a very wise decision because it gave that buttery flaky crust versus a more dense crust that the recipe would have called for with the flour and things. So highly recommend the pie crust. And again, it just saves another step and make it a little bit more streamlined and easy. So if you enjoyed this recipe, thumbs up this video, comment down below. Let me know if you're going to give it a try. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. The recipe is down in the description box below, as well as all of the discounts I can offer to you on all of my favorite WW friendly items. So definitely check out that description box below. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.